In 2016, we've seen a big rise in the women's division, now not being called Divas because Divas was just a horrible name. The women's superstars in WWE are honestly taking over. Seeing that on Monday Night Raw, Sasha Banks and Charlotte made event to Raw for the first time in 12 years. It's safe to say that in women's wrestling, this is the time to get involved. Gail Kim is in the TNA Hall of Fame. Ring of Honor just started the first ever women's division called Women of Honor. Seeing that there's rumors that Sasha and Charlotte could be facing each other inside the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, today I want to give you guys five of the biggest first in women's wrestling history. Number five is the first ever steel cage match. In 2003, Eric Bischoff was kind of like doing mini events and running Monday Night Raw. In one night he had Raw Roulette where you spin the wheel and you can pick whatever stipulation for the match that you want. And see that Lita was facing Victoria that night, instead of just having a regular one-on-one -on -one match, Eric Bischoff decided to go ahead and spin the wheel again to see what kind of match it would be. And in WWE, that was the first ever steel cage match. Lita was about to escape the cage when Matt Hardy came out and slammed the door on her head, allowing Victoria to crawl out to get the victory. Number four, we have the first woman to hold a male title. Now there's been countless intergender matches in WWE and all over the world, especially seen on the independent circuit right now with Candice LeRae. But at No Mercy 1999, the late China took on Jeff Jarrett in a good housekeeping match. Basically, it's just another variation of a hardcore match. It's like if ECW met like Jeffrey for Fresh Prince. Closer to the end of the match, China would hit Jeff Jarrett over the head with his guitar, leading her to victory. And China would be the first ever woman to hold an Intercontinental Championship, and she would later hold it on two more times after that. Along with that, she was the first woman to be in the Royal Rumble, later on to be Beth Phoenix and Karma. And we also seen Jacqueline hold a Cruiserweight Championship in WWE as well. And there's been a lot of reports that Sasha Banks is open to have Having intergender matches in WWE and imagine Sasha defeats Roman Reigns clean. Number three is the first ever ladder match. Now the only time that women's ever wrestled in a ladder match before was on television and it was for TNA. It was July 11, 2013, Gail Kim versus Taryn Terrell for the Knockouts Championship. But the first ever women's ladder match was actually held in WWE, but not in WWE, the developmental territory at the time, OVW. For an undisputed OVW Women's Championship, it was Beth Phoenix versus Kay Lee. Kay Lee pushed Beth Phoenix off the ladder, she fell back 12 feet to the ground, and Kay Lee crawled up the ladder and won the championship. I see why Edge is attracted to Beth Phoenix. I mean, that ladder situation. Number two is the first ever women's main event. December 6, 2004, it was Trish Jazz versus Lita for the women's championship on Raw. But along with that match, which is like a classic, by the way, the first woman to main event a pay per view, kinda, more like a WWE Network special, was Sasha Banks versus Bayley at NXT TakeOver in the first ever Iron Woman match. So far, there's been three main events by women so far, and I wouldn't be surprised that they might actually main event a pay per view. Nothing like WrestleMania or SummerSlam, Battleground, or Payback, something like that. And number one is the first ever women's champion. Now there's been about four different belts in WWE, so there's actually four first women's champions. The first overall was the Fabulous Moolah who held the title for over 30 years. 30. 30 years. You can't beat that. Next was the first Divas Champion of the Great American Bash 2008, where Michelle McCool defeated Natalya. I've always wondered who Michelle McCool actually got married to. Next was a reincarnated WWE Women's Championship, but they don't really want to relate that title to the old original one. I don't know why. At WrestleMania 32, Charlotte versus Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch for the WWE Women's Championship, now known as the Raw Women's Championship. And finally, Becky Lynch winning the SmackDown Women's Championship at Backlash 2016, and this Sunday she defends against Alexa Bliss at No Mercy. So tell me in the comments below, what are some really big firsts in women's wrestling that you know about that maybe I don't know about, so maybe I need to know down in the comments. I'm expecting some big things in 2017 when it comes to the women's division. I'm talking about Intercontinental Championship, Money in the Bank ladder match. Again, back to the main eventing of pay-per-view. Nothing big, something just like Payback, not one of the bigger shows. And who knows, if you get enough girls on the roster, tag team titles. That's it guys, thank you guys for watching the video, hope you really enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, share, and always subscribe, and we out here.